I want to thank everyone for joining us here today. I am Mel Schuett. I am the School and Library Marketer here at the Corridor Group, and I am so excited to present our Spring 2023 list to you here today. A couple of quick housekeeping notes at the beginning here. This presentation should last about 45 minutes. It is being recorded and we will be sending the recording to all registrants within the next few days, as well as a link with our spring 2023 Edelweiss collection that includes all of the books that are gonna be mentioned today. Toward the end of the presentation, we have the absolute honor of being joined by author Sharnay Gordon, who will talk about her January 2023 book, Lift Every Voice and Change. Say hi, Sharnay. <laughs> there she is. So please be sure to have any questions for her ready to go and she'll have make sure to answer them at the end of her presentation. And finally, speaking of questions, I am more than happy to answer them at the end of this presentation. Do me a favor and send them through the Q&A chat function and I'll answer them as soon as I get to the end of my presentation. Please also note that I am downloading a transcript of the chat. So if I don't get a chance to answer your question here, I'll be sure to shoot you an email and answer it in the next week. Quarto, is, Quarto books are published under a few different imprints and each one has a unique focus. So we like to say that there's sort of a book for everyone here at Quarto. Our titles continue to prove themselves as they win awards, honors, and accolades that highlight the diverse content we produce and affirm the importance of the stories we choose to tell. And Charnay will notice that her book, Race Cars, is up there on the screen. As always, I like to start with a quick recap of the beautiful titles we are publishing this fall and into winter because there are some gems that I want to make sure everybody here gets to hear about. Lucky Cat, which published in September, is a heartwarming story about an immigrant family in America and a new friend their daughter June makes as they prepare to open their restaurant. Queen Elizabeth is the most recent addition to the Little People Big Dreams catalog and an excellent survey of the Queen's life and 70 year reign. Saturday AM Annual published earlier this month and presents exclusive stories and art from some of the world's most exciting young comics and creators. It is an epic collection that cannot be missed. And publishing in December is one of my personal favorites, A Pinch of Love, which celebrates the love that comes through baking, cooking, and sharing food. And we have so many more books publishing across so many more categories. So be on the lookout for titles for every occasion over the next few months. Our first spring 2023 category is continuing series. And if anyone was taking bets, now is the time to cash in because we are indeed starting with our best-selling picture book biography series, Little People, Big Dreams. Like always, this is a very short presentation and we have so much to say about this ever expanding Little People, Big Dreams program. So I strongly encourage you to visit the website to check out everything we have to author, including educator guides, activity sheets, authorless event kits, and so much more. Coming out this spring, we have Louis Pasteur, Lewis Hamilton, David Hockney, Tenzing Norgay, and our 100th book, which will be Vanessa Nakate. 2023 is gonna be a big year for Little People Big Dreams. Aside from publishing our 100th title, we're launching an incredible campaign where readers will get a chance to submit their votes for a new little person with a big dream. Nominations will be open in April around the publication of our 100th book, Vanessa Nakate, and we'll announce the winner in October and publish the book in 2024. So be on the lookout. You could have the next Little People Big Dreams book. We are also launching two new programs, both requested by you. Firstly, we are launching a paperback program. You can see the first wave of titles here, publishing in February, with more coming throughout the year. And I'm particularly excited to say that we are finally giving you Spanish language editions. Again, the first wave of titles is there on the screen and they start publishing in May with more publishing throughout the year. So moving from bio biographical picture books, we're also excited to continue our diverse manga program with digital publisher Saturday AM. For any newcomers or those who might welcome a refresher, we partnered with Saturday AM earlier this year to publish the world's first diverse manga-inspired graphic novels. Saturday AM boasts creators from all over the world, like Nigeria, Honduras, New Zealand, and more. And the content of their books is equally diverse, widening readership considerably by featuring characters whose home lives and experiences mirror those of black and brown children. Saturday AM titles come in a few different age ranges as well, starting at 10 plus, 
and all books have the age range printed on the back of the book. So far, the trades are loving these graphic novels, with stellar reviews from the likes of Booklist, Kirkus, and Library Journal, which promise action-packed series openers that will keep readers coming back for more. As you can see, we're publishing new books in the continuing series, and we're starting whole new series, including the highly anticipated Clock Stranger, which was widely discussed on Twitter earlier this season when the author shared the cover, and it went viral within a few hours. If you scan the QR code there on your screen, you could read the first chapter before the book published in February. We are beyond thrilled and honored to have Waterstone's 2022-2024 Children's Laureate Joseph Coelho back on our list with Courage Out Loud. Before I dive into this beautiful title, I wanted to quickly mention that Joseph will be with us at a, the Texas Library Association annual conference in April in Austin. And right afterward, he's going to be heading over to the Washington, D.C. area. So if anybody wants to uh, reach out and coordinate an event with him, I would be more than happy to do that with you. From the fantastic duo behind Poems Aloud and Smile Out Loud comes Courage Out Loud, a compendium of 25 original confidence-building poems read out loud that will show children that their voice has fantastic power. The collection contains mantras to be true to yourself, to help you feel great, project happiness, conjure a smile, make you laugh, or cheer others up. Some are odes, some can be said as personal mantras or just poems that instill confidence and help children realize the power of their voices. Reading these poems aloud will teach children the power of a poem, encouraging them to explore the magic of language and foster a love of verse. Oops. As you can see, the illustrations by Daniel Gray Barnett continue to wow with their energy and vibrancy. Every kid who reads this will find themselves somewhere in the book's pages and feel inspired to find and shape their own powerful voice. Now the book apparently I couldn't wait to get to, ABC Black History and Me, an inspirational journey through Black history from A to Z, presents 26 historical concepts, events, and people that are important in Black America. ABC Black History and Me, is creator Queen Bee Monnier's first entry in the ABC For Me series, and she's a New York native for anyone looking to do in-person events. From A is for advocate to Z is for zest, each letter of the alphabet is paired with inspirational historical concepts. Along with upbeat rhyming text covering both well-known and more obscure topics are colorful illustrations that promote an excitement and curiosity about Black American history. What makes this A to Z book even more unique is that it covers trailblazers chronologically, featuring a visual timeline with additional information for more in-depth learning on the people, places, and events discussed. This all but simple alphabet book covers more than 170 years, making it perfect for getting toddlers comfortable with their ABCs, but also for reflecting on how we are all affected by this history and how even the youngest of children will affect the future. ABC Black History is the latest title in the best-selling ABC for Me series. In this timely follow-up to the best-selling and critically acclaimed Young, Gifted, and Black, meet 52 more icons of color around the world. This is another project from dynamic duo Jamia Wilson and Andrea Pippins, who have worked on several titles over the past several years, including Young, Gifted, and Black, Baby, Young, Gifted, and Black, and companion books Step Into Your Power and Step Into My Power. Lots and lots of starred reviews and New York Times features coverage of Jamia's books. Young, Gifted, and Black features the stories of more recent change makers like Amanda Gorman and Naomi Osaka, as well as, as excuse me, as well as historic talents such as Juan Latino and Ya Asentiwa. This companion book is ideal for educators and homeschoolers studying Black excellence with a new figure to explore every week of the year. Biographies are ordered chronologically and the range of figures showcases an even more global selection in line with the movement toward decolonizing our history and curricula. Strong, courageous, talented, and diverse, these extraordinary people's achievements will inspire a new generation to chase their dream, whatever it may be. The newest book in the Kitchen Pantry Scientist series will be here in April. Books from Liz Lee Heineke's Kitchen Pantry Scientist series have received starred reviews and have been recommended by outlets like Science Magazine and Chicago Parent. This engaging guide offers a series of snapshots of 25 scientists famous for their work with ecology. 
Each lab tells the story of a scientist along with some background about their importance of their work and a description of where it is still being used and reflected in today's world. A step-by-step -step illustrated experiment paired with each story offers kids a hands-on opportunity for exploring concepts the scientists pursued or are working on today. Experiments range from very simple projects using materials you probably already have on hand to more complicated ones that may require a few inexpensive items you purchase online. The Nature Hero series focuses on a group of friends who are passionate about nature and the great outdoors. Each book features a different child who has a favorite topic, and they are fascinated by this particular topic. And the spring will be adding Ava loves rescuing animals and Pedro loves saving the planet to the list. Ava loves animals tells the fact-filled story of a day in the life of a budding young vet who is passionate about animals. Following Ava as she shares her amazing animal record breakers, learn how to learn how frog spawn grows into a frog and find out what you can learn from looking at an animal's poo. Pedro loves sharing the planet, excuse me, Pedro loves saving the planet, tells the fact-filled story of a day in the life of a boy who is passionate about the environment. Follow Pedro as he learns about renewable energy, discovers fun ways to save water, and finds ways that readers can help to protect the planet. This series is perfect for igniting a love and appreciation for nature right on your doorstep. Snuggle up together and enjoy a treasury of tales for five-year-olds, a collection of charming and engaging stories written by Gabby Donay and selected especially for five-year-olds by literacy experts. The stories in a treasury of tales for five-year-olds are ranged in order of complexity so that the child listening or reading will increase their confidence as they make their way through the book. Most children may not be able to read independently by the age of five, but they can start to prepare for this by building a foundation of literacy skills. For example, many can recognize letters, understand that print carries a message, and recognize that sentences are read from left to right. Some might even be able are attempting to read already. This beautiful book contains original and inclusive stories about animals, dragons, nature, vehicles, music, and more, as well as reimagined fairy tales from around the world. From tales of pirate adventures to heartwarming animal stories, there will be something for every young reader in this rich collection, which has sparkling soil on the cover and a ribbon marker. Where does our food come from? Is farming different around the world? The World That Feeds Us is a charmingly illustrated book where readers follow sustainable farming around the world to discover how people from Hawaii to Sweden grow the fresh and tasty food we enjoy eating. Explore the seasonal workings of farms around the world and how food can be grown using sustainable methods that focus on quality versus quantity to ensure an environmentally healthy future. Through this colorful and global look at farming, children will learn how farmers and we can make better choices to protect the planet while still enjoying delicious and nutritious food. The world that feeds us explores fascinating farms and farming techniques around the world, and there is a glossary at the back that defines key sustainable farming terms. Read to Mary Every Night is the newest book in the six free time series, which presents beautiful embroidered collections of nursery rhymes and folk tales for young children. Science tells us that babies develop best and connect with people and the world around them when they are spoken to, sung to, and read to. Even when they're tiny, the sound of a person's voice helps them make sense of the world and feel comfortable with the new people and places around them. This treasury gives parents and, and, editor, and educators the opportunity to rediscover just how useful and calming 30 of the best loved lullabies are in one beautiful volume. Stunningly embroidered illustrations for each rhyme offer little ones a visual delight and will make the book a keepsake. Every story has a beginning, middle, and end, and so does everything in the world. From a frog to a cloud in the sky to a twinkling star at night, discover the stories of the most amazing life cycles between you and outer space. Round and Round Goes Mother Nature is a truly beautiful and wonderfully illustrated book that introduces children to the magic of nature through the stories of 48 fascinating life cycles. 48 story spreads tell fascinating stories of all sorts of life cycles from very small to out of this world. 
Readers will be transported across the globe, learning about just how Mother Nature keeps everything in our world turning round and round. This is a book to show children that the world is always moving forward and change is happening all the time, all around us, whether it's the turning of the season, the hatching of an egg, or the growing of a mountain. The Secret Life of Oceans is a collection of delightful stories and engaging facts that inspires a new generation to look after the world around them. This fourth title in the Stars of Nature series is full of fascinating facts that teach young readers about everything that can be found in nature's deep blue seas. Did you know that blue whales are the largest creatures on earth and that corals are actually tiny creatures, which I definitely did not know? Tia, the green turtle, guides readers through this beautiful first look at ocean life around the globe. Learn about ocean's homes, who lives there, big creatures like whales and whale sharks, little creatures like baby animals and zooplankton, incredible journeys, sea weather, and how to help save our oceans. Read magical folklore, sea stories from around the planet as well. Tia has learned much on her travels and she'll be a great guide for young readers, perhaps inspiring them to develop a lifelong love of the world under the ocean. That was a long category. I hope you're all as excited as I am to see some of those sequels and companion titles. And we're gonna go ahead and move on to our next Porto staple, which is Steam. We only have one Ivy Kids title publishing this spring, but it is beautiful. With over 25 activities, a Little Dose of Nature is a gentle guide to being outside that helps readers aged five to eight make the most of all the good that being outdoors can do for our mental health. Being surrounded by greenery, wildlife, and fresh air is scientifically proven to be one of the most effective and neglected ways to de-stress and boost well-being. This book introduces kids to nature's five key ingredients, which can provide cognitive and emotional benefits. From observing the branching patterns of roots and leaves that mimic her own anatomies, to the power of sunlight, rainfall, and birdsong, children will discover how to notice and appreciate what nature does for them, their minds, and their bodies. Written by psychologist Dr. Allison Greenwood, A Little Dose of Nature introduces an easily accessible tonic for difficulty and distress and encourages all of us to get our dose of nature for a happy, healthy life. The Who, What, Why of Zoology is the perfect introduction to an important STEM topic for readers ages six to nine, combining expertise from zoologist author Jules Howard with vibrant and humor-filled illustrations from Lucy Leatherland. What is your favorite animal fact? Have you ever wondered who discovered it in the first place? Chances are it was a zoologist. Each chapter dives into a different real world environment to observe the animals that live there, then fills the scene with zoologists to explore how this exciting science actually works. Then turn the page to learn about the modern mysteries to which scientists are still searching for answers. Every page is bursting with facts you've never heard before, as well as plenty of funny, de funny details to keep you searching for hours. Not only is this book filled with up to the minute facts about your favorite animals, but it also goes behind the scenes and finds and out into the field to show how real zoologists find out more about the creatures we know and discover new ones. And the last book before I toss it over to Charnay is Modern Art for Kids, which is a charmingly illustrated hands-on guide packed with fun facts, amazing stories about the lives of artists and already crafty activities for interactive learning. For thousands of years, people have been making and enjoying art. From miniature paintings to monumental sculptures, Art is a universal language to express beliefs and feelings. Over the course of history, art historians have tried to organize all the different styles and types of art into different movements. You don't need to know anything about art to enjoy this book, but learning the fascinating stories of artists and art movements will help you enjoy it even more. Filled with bite-sized summaries, the aim of this book is to inspire curious kids with interesting art topics and expose them to the freedom and creativity of the power of the imagination. This book also offers children who might not have access to masterpieces in museums insight into art history. We also have a couple of picture books coming out from Happy Yak that we will be uh, having out this spring. Okay, I'm now gonna go ahead and pass the mic over to my friend and author, Sharnay Gordon, whose second book is Porto, Lift Every Voice and Change, publishes with us on January 10th. 
this is such a unique book and not just because it's also a sound book. I'm going to let Shanae tell you more about the book in a minute, but I thought I would just drop here that Cicely Lewis, the Read Woke champion, has called Lift Every Voice and Change a triple threat because it's got a focus on beautifully illustrated portraits, detailed biography, biographies of Black leaders, and of course, the uniqueness of the sound clip. Charnay Gordon is a diversity and inclusion expert, author, blogger, podcast host, and digital creator. She does it all. She also serves as a member of the National Advisory Board for Reading is Fundamental for their Race, Equity, and Inclusion Initiative. You can find her online at hereweread.com and at hereweread on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Charnay, thank you so much for joining us. Over to you. You are on mute, though. Yeah, which is the theme that. of every meeting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for that introduction. Uh, super excited to be here today. And thanks all for joining and taking the time out of your day to be here. I wanted to talk briefly about my book. I'm super excited about it. Lift Every Voice and Change. Uh, so if you want to go to the next slide now. So a little bit about the book. It publishes January 2023, January 10th, and it's a sound book, uh, which I was really excited about. I love like hearing like sound clips and stuff in, in picture books. Um, it, is a, it is aimed at readers ages 7 to 12, but really can be read by anyone. Uh, each page has a, profiles a different Black leader from either past or present, and there are 12 in total in the book, 12 people featured total in the book. And it features um, some more well-known names, but we also have some maybe lesser known names as well. Uh, it does feature men and women. Some of the speakers include John Lewis, Katherine Johnson, Jay-Z, Toni Morrison, Stacey Abrams, and of course, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. A little bit about me from what Mel already said, uh, but apart from all of that, I'm also a wife and mom, and I've been recommending diverse books for children and families since February, 2015. So almost eight years now, and I can't even believe that I've been doing it that long. Uh, but I love it so much. And I built a, a very um, vibrant and engaging community over the years online and social media. Um, wife of 18 years, uh, mom of two. My kids are currently ages nine and 10. And um, my educational background is actually in computer science. So my journey to becoming an author is not traditional in any sense. Um, but I recently left my computer programming job where I was a computer programmer for over 15 years and jumped right into being an author uh, as well as a full-time content creator. And I'm also doing some marketing work as well as a marketing director. So this will be my fifth book, Lift Every Voice and Change will be my fifth book. And I can't even believe it. Uh, and I, I, as I said, it is coming out in January. And uh, I do also have two additional books that will be publishing in 2023 as well. So it's kind of ironic that this call, and I don't know, Mel, if it's all educators or primarily for educators, but when I was little, one of the things I always used to say when people asked what I wanted to be when I grew up, I would always say I wanted to be a teacher. And in a lot of ways, I, I do see myself as being a teacher, not only to my two children, but also I think authors are in a way teachers as well. Um, but I just wanted to take the time out to thank any teachers that may be here um, or administrators. I really value and appreciate the work that you do. And you know, thank you, as it says here on the slide, for helping raise the next generation of leaders, readers, and change makers. Really appreciate you and the work that you do every day. Next slide. Okay, so um, I can't talk about the book without talking about Aaron's amazing artwork throughout the book. And uh, so these 
what you're seeing here on the screen are just some of the stunning illustrations that you'll see throughout the book. As I said, each speaker that's profiled has a brief description of who they are and what they may be known for in history, as well as a, you can listen to a snippet from a quote that they are famous for saying. And uh, you press the, the button and it plays the sound of the sound clip from the, from the um, speech. And um, then you can look at all of these beautiful illustrations that Aaron has created. Black history is American history. This is one of the main messages that I hope readers take away from this book. Um, you probably have heard that, you know, other people say this before, but it's really true. Black history is American history and it should be celebrated and acknowledged all throughout the year, not just in the month of February. Um, I think, you know, Black people, we are more than our past. We are not defined by the things that have happened to us. Slavery just happens to be one of the things, you know, one of the unfortunate things um, that we are probably most well known for when you talk about Black people, especially Black people in America. But we are more, so much more than that. And I hope people will take that away from this book. Um, you know, that's the main message that I hope people take away but also just learning. I hope people learn something new about these great people that have contributed to our society in so many different ways. And this is just a quote from the book and this came from Jay-Z. We have a responsibility to push the conversation forward until we're all equal. So we're all equal in this place because until everyone's, oh, there's a typo free, there's a typo there, but it's supposed to say until everyone's free, no one's free. And that's just a fact. And here we just have my contact information. You can always email me. There's my email address as well as my, uh, my blog and then my personal website. And of course, on Instagram, I am here we read, but also on Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest as well. And that's it. Thank you. And again, the book publishes January 10th, but it is available for pre-orders now. So thanks again for having me, Mel. This was such a treat to be here with you all today. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for your time, Charnay, and for that incredible insight into Lift Every Voice and Change. I cannot wait for this book to come out into the world, January 10th, 2023. I know it's going to be impactful and just a game changer in terms of how kids learn about Black excellence and Black history. So thank you so much for bringing this book into the world for us. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, I, it's hard to follow Charnay, but I am going to try and I'm just going to round out the rest of the presentation here really quickly by just continuing to mention that as always, we're adding resources to our, um, our website, we've got Cardo Classroom, which is a video library of, edu of people, you know, our authors teaching all sorts of things. We've got downloadable resources like educator guides, activity sheets, flag, and so much more. So please visit that link there on the screen. And that's my face there, right next to Sharnay's actual face. Um, that's it for spring 2023. I want to thank you again so much for joining us. And thank you to Sharnay for talking to us about Lift Every Voice and Change. It looks like we don't have so many questions as we have just wonderful compliments. So thank you, Donna, for your compliment there. Um, if anybody has any questions for Sharnay, now is the time. Please put them in the Q&A. She'd be happy to answer them. And again, I'm happy to pass along any of your questions as well. If you're feeling a little shy and would like to email me directly, that's A-OK -okay too. Um, I will be, as you're putting together your questions, just a quick reminder that I'll be in touch later this week with a recording of this event. And just thank you again so much. So we'll give it another minute or two for questions and then, and then we'll be done for the day. Thanks again, Charnay. Oh yeah, thank you, thank you. All right, I'll go ahead and end it there. Thanks again, and everyone enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks, Charnay. Yep, thank you, bye.